In an exclusive interview, Tewin Wong Wanit, the chief financial officer of the Petroleum Authority of Thailand Public Company Limited, or PTT, talked to our reporter about the outlook of the Thai energy sector and its implication on PTT's long-term strategy. More on this report. Thailand's vibrant economic growth in recent decades, with its ups and downs, has heightened the level of the country's prosperity and at the same time, the level of its energy consumption. Tewin Wong Wanit, the chief financial officer of PTT, the kingdom's biggest oil and gas company, said that Thailand will need to diversify its energy sources to cope with the medium and long-term domestic energy consumption trend. For a bit longer term, uh, that's the uh, issue that uh, is the challenge for the country like Thailand, uh, where we have to import most of our energy requirement. Uh, currently, we're importing 80% of our uh, crude oil uh, from mainly the Middle East. Uh, we're importing about 20% of our natural gas supply from uh, neighboring countries. And we're actually importing about 50% of the coal uh, supply to the industry. Uh, so Thailand as a net energy importer and will continue to import uh, more and more in the future would have to uh, face the challenge of the, uh, the supply of the future uh, energy and the role of PTT thereby have to uh, uh, expand a bit more than just the oil and gas company to becoming an uh, energy company uh, to look at the source of energy supply for the longer term for the country. PTT aspiration to transform itself from being an oil company to an energy company has led them further afield to search and invest in energy sources across Southeast Asia and around the world, both in terms of its traditional oil and gas operations as well as other sources like coal and liquefied natural gas as well. In the future, we might have to also look at the, the diversification of the energy sources and that's why PTT has started to look into the coal business, coal mining business to prepare ourselves in case the, the country will need the coal supply in the future. Uh, and that's why last year we invested in the uh, a coal mining company listed in the stock exchange of uh, Singapore and doing the mining in Indonesia. Uh, that would be sort of uh, supplementing the, the oil and gas uh, energy supply. Uh, on top of that, uh, next year we'll be completing the LNG receiving terminal which will allow Thailand to import uh, gas, natural gas in the form of uh, liquid, liquefied natural gas from anywhere in the world. And that will serve as a security in case of the demand being uh, volatile and or increasing at an unexpected level as we saw this year. We will be able to source uh, LNG from, from other market uh, rather than just relying on pipe gas. The CFO of PTT stresses that the securing of new energy sources overseas is only part of the solution to stabilize the rate of Thailand's domestic energy consumption. Research and development for alternative energy sources, which is in line with the government's policy, is also very important in improving the kingdom's energy security. Most importantly, Tewin said that the Thai public needs to be aware that the country is a huge net energy importer with very little domestic energy sources of its own, Thus, individuals and companies should make efforts to conserve energy and be more efficient with their energy consumption. I'm Panuk Wong Chi Um of Thai News Agency, reporting for RCN TV.